This is one tree that might not get much attention until it starts blooming in late spring, but when it does start flowering, everyone's going to ask what it is. This is the Chinese fringe tree, or Chiananthus bretensis. You can see how it got its name by these lovely white flowers that are all over the tree. And they are slightly aromatic and they have really long petals that when they start falling from the tree, they kind of create a snow-like effect. Now, this is the Asian variety and so it's native to China, Korea, and Japan. There is also a North American native called Chianensis virginicus. And both are very similar though. They are pretty small trees, only getting to be about 10 to 20 feet tall. Now both trees are typically dioecious, which means they bear male and female flowers on separate trees. The Chinese fringe tree does bloom about two to three weeks earlier than our native. Both flowers are showy, but it's said that the male flowers might be a little bit more showy. But of course, with the female flowers, you get some fruit. It's an olive-like fruit that'll start to appear late in the fall if those female flowers are pollinated. Also in the fall, you'll notice that the foliage will turn to a nice yellow color. And then of course, in the winter, we'll start to really notice this beautiful tan exfoliating bark. Now, both fringe trees appreciate a moist, fertile soil, which might not be ideal for all landscapes. But I have to say that while it might be in a kind of a low area where it gets some runoff here at the Arboretum, it has done fine without any supplemental water for several years now. Without any serious pest or disease problems, you might consider adding a little fringe to the edge of your landscape. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.